Hello and welcome to another edition of Fix 64. I'm Darren Hadley. And today I have a Minis Forum X1 AI series um, computer, little mini PC. And it has a Ryzen 7 255 processor that supports a TDP of 65 watts. And it has Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. And it supports four, four screens, not 40. And a dual channel DDR5 up to 64 gigabytes. And dual M.2 NVMe SSDs. And it also has dual speakers built in and a microphone. So, very full featured. Let's get to unboxing it and we will go from there. Okay. It goes off. Very nice. In fact, that kind of reminds me of the M1 Pro style. Exactly. Huh. And then I'm sure, yeah, it's got the Oculink that you can add. So, yeah, we've pretty much already done something with this. So yeah, the four screw holes and cool. We will be putting some, this is a bare bone unit. So we're going to put some RAM in 32 gigabytes bytes and I have a two terabyte uh, Kingston that I got out of something else. So we'll throw that in there. The RAM is kind of taken from another machine because right now RAM prices are horrendous. And I don't have the budget for that. So you got uh, documentation. Nice small size power brick. HDMI. Cable. And the Oculink, I'm sure. And a Visa mount. All right, so yes, this is pretty much the Ryzen version. And the M1 Pro was the Intel. So there's also a Pro version of this. All right, so of course we have a power button, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A's, a USB 4, 3.5 millimeter audio jack, a clear CMOS, and on the back we have a DC 19 volt, 2.5 gig LAN, a DisplayPort 2.0, hockey link, which we're going to be putting in there instead of the uh, second drive. USB 4, HDMI 2.0, or 2.1, sorry, and a USB 2.0 Type A. So let's open this up and put in the required components. And then this is one that I'll hook to an Oculink eGPU and we'll try some different games and stuff in other videos. But yes, this is not the HX370 Ryzen 9 one. This is the X1255 and this is the bare bone. And of course bare bones are cheapest to get right now but you know because RAM and, and SSD skyrocketed. 
it's it's really bad like 64 gigabytes of sodium is like almost five six hundred bucks now it's crazy yes. I think this is the corner one that's stuck in the other one. Oh, there we go. Just needed to kind of move it. And I bet this is a fast little machine. I'm impressed with all their other stuff. Oh. And kind of watch for attached wires and they're on this side okay. I'm just gonna undo them one right there one right there and now we can lift it off and there's two thermal pads okay let's I'm gonna pop that rubber drum it out there we go so we're gonna put the Oculink port in undo that screw first Zoom in a little. Okay, so I took it out of there. There we go. Alright, let's get this thing out of here. Okay, so we put it in like any other SSD type thing and then what we want to do is pull back on the, a little bit on this metal and make sure it pops into place perfect right in line with the the hole now where did I put the screw oh there it is you don't want to lose the screw. Okay, Oculink installed. Next we will do the SSD drive. And that in, grab the screw, and for all I know, it probably came out of something that already had windows on it, so I may have to, I'll have to format it. And then last but not least, our crucial, 32 gigs very nice now we have a complete system I'm gonna take pull off of both of these because might as well have a thermal pad on that too and this keeps things cooler. Okay, now I got a okay I want front arrow to be in the front and then try to try to get these little things in with my sausage fingers.
Yeah, this one is really tight. In fact, I'm gonna that's like worse than normal. I'm gonna have to undo that or something. Okay, that was quite the ordeal. Um yeah, there, it's just being held in by a little plastic clip thing, so you can just thread it out of there and then add a uh, adhesive keeping it in place. And it made it longer once I unraveled all that. So I got it in. Hopefully it's, it's good. Okay, we will see what this thing can do in future videos. I do want to see if it turns on, however. So I'll take it over to the test desk and we'll see what we got. Okay, I've got it all hooked up and I have a uh, Windows USB stick in. And I think we'll give it a shot. Use for them. It works. That's a good sign. All right, here we go. I'll just go for Pro. Okay, there we go. Now we'll just install on that. Okay. So yeah, I'll, I'll finish installing Windows and then uh, look for this machine and uh, some benchmarking for this and hook to Oculink in different uh, scenarios and different games. I'll be doing it all. Anyway, that is the Minis Forum X1 AI, the non-pro, the 255 version. I'd like to thank all of my viewers and subscribers, and if you like this sort of thing, please uh, like and subscribe. And if you want to know when my next video is out, which is possibly doing some benchmarking on this or anything else tech, then please uh, click the bell button, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.